Good morning. Feels good around here. We're just off onto the Game of Thrones tour we booked yesterday. Very, very excited. Yeah, we are very excited actually. We're gonna open up a Lannister banner. I'm not sure if everybody uh, is as intuitive as you. Yes. So we just met our tour guide Robert. We're uh, really pleased that there's only like seven people on the tour. We splashed out a little bit because we, we heard this, this particular tour was so good. And there's like a maximum of eight people, but there's only even seven on this one. So we're just heading off to the first place, but he was explaining a little bit about how Dubrovnik was only from the second season onwards, because the first season, King's Landing was filmed in Malta. But as soon as they realised that there was a lot of money to be made, they had a whole new list of demands for the show, for HBO to like fulfil. And they just said no and moved to Dubrovnik, so Robert said it was very, very good for the city, because all of a sudden, they had Game of Thrones and with all of the tourism that that's brought in it's been great for the city in some ways but yeah so we're off to the first place now which he said is a little walk because we're going up here I had some eight seconds on screen eight seconds eight seconds yeah and I'm very proud of those eight I seconds I would say oh, yeah. in eight seconds I did so much you won't believe it yeah that's my Movie career, brilliant, isn't it? Season two, episode six, twenty-fifth minute. So if you've been wondering why I'm forcing you to do these stairs, here is the answer. It's Red Keep. You gotta go to the Red Keep. Was chased. She almost gets raped. Then home yeah. came and cut those guys open. Saved her. Uh, when you've been watching this, this looked, looked like a stable, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. With all the head and stuff, the head. It, if this was a stable, horses would have a pretty good view. Yeah. <laughs> Here, he was trying to persuade her to leave King's Landing with him. Used the opportunity. Jamie came back to King's Landing through these doors. He came back with one hand less, followed by Brienne. This guy works with my mom. He's a librarian. My mom works in the library. So Robert was just telling us that there was, like even just a few years ago, there was like 4,000 locals that were here. But now it's more like 700 that live in the city because everyone's just moved out to sort of rent out their houses, apartments, whatever, so for Airbnb. And he said, don't think of them as like, oh, poor locals had to move out because of tourism. Because they are making a mint. Shame. 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 <laughs> Right, we finished the Game of Thrones tour, probably like an hour and a half ago now. Um, you enjoy it? Oh, I loved it, thank you. Yeah, it was really good. He was really knowledgeable and because he'd been like an extra, he could tell us loads about sort of like what it was like on set, who was nice, who wasn't kind of thing. And now we're gonna make our way up the cable car, but the weather doesn't look too good. It says it's meant to be sunny, but there looks like quite a daunting grey cloud up there. But we're gonna give it a go anyway. Voila. It's such a good view and it's especially interesting having done like the tour this morning because we can see all of the places that we walked so for instance from the Red Keep all the way up then all the way back down and our apartment's just about there somewhere I think. So it's not very big but you can really get like a, an idea of what it's like and like the narrow streets and stuff with this kind of view.
layers upon layers. Get her out of here.